I think I'm gonna make a little different type of video today. It's a beautiful morning here on Lake Conroe. It's about 8.30, 8.35. I've been walking along the pier here, relaxing, looking at all the boats. Here in a couple hours, the lake is gonna be really busy. People partying on their boats, having fun with their families. And uh, I kind of wish I had a boat to party on today. Um, but all week long, the, me the meteorologists have been telling us that we are at risk of a tropical storm or a hurricane hitting the coast of southeast Texas. That's about an hour and a half, two hours south of where I live in Conroe. So when a major tropical storm or hurricane comes through, it greatly affects us here in the northern suburbs of Houston. <clears throat> uh, I don't think that's going to happen. I checked the forecast this morning, and I don't think that's going to. I think that storm has kind of moved uh, closer towards New Orleans, so it's not going to affect us that much. But it got me thinking about storms and how we prepare for storms. And so today, I want to talk to you about storms. <laughs> Yes, I'll take one ice caramel macchiato with extra caramel. And what size? Grande. Okay. What else for you? That's all. All right, your grande ice, extra caramel, caramel macchiato comes to 514. Thank you. This has no relevance to the story of storms. This has everything to do with getting brownie points. <music> Last year, we posted a vlog about what we do as associate pastors here at our church. Um, and so today's Thursday. On most Thursdays, I spend time here in my office working, doing some administrative work. Then when I finish that, I begin to transition into preparing for my sermon on Sunday. But today, because there is the possibility of a tropical storm or a Category 1 hurricane, um, coming close to us, it has altered my schedule um, because, well, storms alter our schedules. And life isn't much different. When the storms of life come at you and I, maybe our friends, our family, our health, our finances, maybe something tough at school or college, the same thing happens. Everything that is normal is thrown out the window and we have to jump, we have to change, we have to adapt to our new normal. Storms force us to change, whether we like change or not. And uh, I think sometimes we give storms a, a bad rap. Um, but, you know, they say in a hurricane or a tropical storm, big palm trees, they grow during the storm. And it's the excruciating winds, it's the violence, it's the turbulence, it's the less than ideal circumstances they find themselves in that really cause them to thrive and I think that the same can be said for you and I that if we instead of fighting storms if we were just to go through them and allow God to work in us like he wants to work in us I think we would see the growth in our life that God intends for us to do <laughs> All 
All right, it's 12.45, it's 12.52. And I've just finished mowing the church. It is hot outside. Woo. Do y'all remember um, earlier in this video when I uh, was trying to get some brownie points? Didn't get none. What am I doing? Hello. We're putting brackets on this board so you can hang it in Allie's room. Pretty much though, the hard part but has been done by yours truly. I want to talk. No brownie points were achieved at the 8.30 Starbucks run. Do you like your new desk? Say it's a vanity, Dad. I think this is a church. Hey, everybody. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I really appreciate it. Hey, why don't you consider subscribing and then hit the bell notification so every time we upload a video, you'll get notified of that. If you want to give this video a thumbs up, like it down below, you can comment. We would greatly appreciate that. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.